The rate in calories per minute at which a person using an exercise machine burns calories is modeled by the function f. In the figure above, f of t is equal to negative one-fourth t cubed plus three-halves t squared plus one from zero to four, and f is piecewise linear from four to twenty-four. Find f prime of twenty-two and indicate units of measure. By finding f prime of twenty-two, we are finding the derivative of f at t equals 22. In other words, the rate of change of f at time 22. Well, let's locate time 22 on this graph. It's approximately right here. Here is time 22, which falls on this linear graph from 20 comma 15 to 24 comma 3. Now, I want to find the derivative of f, which is this graph, at this particular point. Remember that the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. Well, hmm, the tangent line here is this line. It's the line from 2015 to 24 comma three. I mean, the fact is that the rate of change at this particular point is the slope of this line right here. And so the slope of this line is given by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 3 minus 15 is negative 12 over 24 minus 20 is 4. This is equal to negative 3. So f prime of 22 is equal to negative 3 because the rate of change of f, the slope of f at this particular point is negative 3. Now let's take a look at units of measure. Our top, our numerator, is in terms of calories per minute. So here we have calories per minute. And our denominator, time, is in terms of minutes. So this is calories per minute, per minute. Or in other words, if you were to divide this out, minute turns into multiplied by one over minute and we get calories per minute squared and so we have negative three calories per minute squared and here's the answer right here this is the rate of change of f so we already started off with a rate of change in calories per minute so f was already a rate of change. Now the rate of change of the rate of change gives you the number of calories per minute you burn per minute, or calories per minute squared. 